Welcome to Zimstream TV, your go-to source for in-depth news analysis and commentary. Join our expert panel for insightful discussions and political analysis. Police officer caught in crossfire, loses sight after tear gas exposure. Nairobi, Kenya in a shocking turn of events. A police officer in Nairobi's CBD was injured by his own colleagues on Tuesday as they attempted to disperse a peaceful protest using tear gas and water cannons. The officer, who has not been named, was caught in the crossfire and exposed to a high concentration of tear gas, resulting in severe eye irritation and temporary loss of sight. As a group of demonstrators gathered outside the parliament buildings to protest against the controversial Finance Bill 2024. The protesters, who were largely peaceful, were met with a heavy police presence, including riot police and officers armed with tear gas and water cannons. As the situation escalated, police officers began deploying tear gas and water cannons to disperse the crowd. In the chaos that ensued, the police officer was caught in the crossfire and exposed to a high concentration of tear gas. Eyewitnesses described the scene as chaotic and confusing, with police officers seemingly losing control of the situation. The police officer was standing nearby when the tear gas was fired, said one eyewitness. He was caught off guard and didn't have time to react. He was engulfed in the gas and began to stumble around, clearly in distress. The injured officer was rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment, where he was diagnosed with severe eye irritation and temporary loss of sight. His condition is reported to be stable, but the incident has sparked outrage among Kenyans, who are calling for accountability and an end to police brutality. The protesters, who were largely peaceful, were demanding that the government reconsider the Finance Bill 2024, which they claim will lead to increased taxes and economic hardship for Kenyans. The protest was organized by a coalition of civil society organizations and opposition political parties. The police response to the protest has been widely condemned, with many calling it heavy-handed and disproportionate. The police should be protecting the people, not attacking them, said one protester. We were peacefully exercising our right to protest, but the police chose to use force instead of engaging with us. The incident has raised questions about police accountability and the use of excessive force by law enforcement agencies in Kenya. The government has promised to investigate the incident and take appropriate action, but many are skeptical about the outcome. This is not the first time that police officers have used excessive force against peaceful protesters, said a human rights activist. The government must take concrete steps to address this issue and ensure that police officers are held accountable for their actions. The incident has also raised concerns about the safety of police officers themselves, who are often caught in the crossfire of their own colleagues' actions. This incident highlights the need for better training and equipment for police officers, as well as greater accountability within the police force, said a security expert. In the meantime, the protesters have vowed to continue their demonstrations until their demands are met. The government has urged calm and restraint, but the situation remains volatile. As the situation continues to unfold, one thing is clear, the people of Kenya will not be silenced, and they will continue to demand justice and accountability from their government.